Hey guys, this is Mars here with the review of the new Minotaur paints developed by Badger Airbrush. First off, I want to thank Ken from Badger Airbrush sending me these products. Awesome, awesome products. Uh, also, with a couple of airbrushes that I got. Uh, the review of the airbrushes is... The review for the airbrushes are going to be here somewhere. So click on that if you want to look at my review of the airbrushes. But these are the Minotaur paints and I'm, I can't actually take out the whole entire thing because there's like 80 something of them 88 or something like close to 100 different uh, paint bottles i don't have a lot of uh experience in airbrushing or airbrush paints to compare to the only one that i have used are actually the paleo air so i'm going to use this as a comparison to minotaur first off from what i noticed the size Minotaur pants is a lot bigger. The price is actually <clears throat> cheaper per millimeter. I, as a war gamer on a budget, I love that because why would I want to pay something more expensive in a smaller bottle when I can get a bigger bottle and cheaper and works the same exact way? So that's one thing that I noticed. The bottles are smaller. Second of all, I noticed that Vallejo, Vallejo Air has a certain quality to it where i think it's a little too th too thin for me that I, I need to mix a couple of drop of retarder or basically i have to mix it and the minotaurs i don't they, they just go straight to the to my airbrush and they just go straight that's another thing that i really 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 like about the minotaur paints and let's get down into the little bit more details on the actual paint itself first one are the bases the bases, these are the base coats, uh, the priming coat basically is called white, raven black, and base gray. These two might not be an actual base, I mean priming coat, but this one is for sure as a priming coat. I noticed from the difference of the texture, it is slightly thicker and it comes out a little bit more fuzzy than the other paints. The base coat is awesome. I only had a couple of different problems with the white because it's too fuzzy. Uh, I know priming is only you know you only need a couple of passes just to get so at least your other paint will pick up like you know will, will grip on the priming surface so it will stick but i like to have an even coat the black is perfect the black completely covers everything and then the uh, the gray if you do the black first and then the gray it's even better uh but i had also no problem in the gray ones the white one slight problem but i'm okay with it i can live with it basically I use the white more a little bit on blending and I use the gray for my predominant uh, priming. And then let's go with the metallic ones. The metallic ones, uh, this is gun alloy in particular. It is supposed to be kind of like bolt gun metal if you use GW reference. Gun alloy, make sure when you paint metallic stuff, you wear a mask because particles of metal particles will fly and you don't want to suck that into your lung i have no problem with the metallic ones um but as any metallic paints if you work with metallic paints before you have to make a couple of passes or if you're using you know brushes you have to paint metallic a couple of times or a couple layers of um, metallic paints onto your model so i'm already familiar with metallic paints i'm okay with it i have to make like one or two passes onto the the model itself the only thing a little bit slightly different on the model is you when you do certain type of metallic paint whatever base color you have below that like if you do black it's gonna look darker that's the beauty of airbrushes because basically you're overlaying colors over colors so if you wanted to have like a bluish metallic gun metal you do like a, a blue tint first as a base after the base uh, after the base coat you do the blue and then after that you cover that with the gun alloy alloy and then it's going to come out blue that is good paint i'm actually going to do my review as honest as possible so i'm, I'm pretty sure ken is going to appreciate the fact that i'm actually giving an honest review on certain things another one that i wanted to mention is the clear coats this is the flat coat in particular a couple of people are saying that they had some problems with it being cloudy or it's not coming out right it's not it's not flat it's glossy i had no problem with it i sprayed a couple of models with the flat coat 
to just cover it before I move on to the next step. I had no problem at all with the flat coat. So it works great. It covers your model. And then after that, you can just spray on another different color on top of that. It basically gives another layer of protection onto your models. So no problem with the flat coats or the clear coats whatsoever. The ghost tints. These are the cream of the crop of Minotaur paint. I love these so much. All the painters that have used this, like Awesome Paint Job, War Games Consortium, and Ichiban Painting, they've used the candy, I mean the the ghost tints and call them candy colors because of the colors that come out, out of it. What you want to do is you base coat a certain thing with a certain color. For example, my Guild Rifleman here, I've base coated it with green first. And then I put the yellow ghost tint on top of it to have like some kind of lime green. Look at the blending on that. I don't know if you can see it, but the blending on that is so awesome. And look at the quality of the color from that. I love the ghost tint. I, I've been using the ghost tints a lot more than the other paint. And I don't see anything wrong with it. Uh, apparently, this was actually a line of paint that was called something else before. Nobody knew about it. And now since all of us have been using it and everyone went crazy about it. But yeah, the ghost tints are awesome. And these, this is the angelic blood. I would call this like the flat base color paints. So there's a lot of different variety like blue, green, yellow, and they all each have different names of different shades. So I, I'm not gonna mention all of it. The coverage of these paints are really awesome. I only need to make one pass, maybe two at max on certain area that I wanted to to cover and they are thin enough to actually blend with other colors so I can overlay it I really love these if I have to pick this the ghost tints are number one in my list and the flat colors are number two in my list so these are the miniature paints I, I categorize them myself they don't actually categorize it they just have it different names let's talk about some of the cons that I actually experienced with miniature paints the only two problems that I had are these two paints I've actually used all the paints from their range Try it out on paper, try it out on miniatures and everything else. But these two are my problem makers. <clears throat> the Lust, Lust Pink. I actually had some problems with it because it, no matter what I try to do, like supposedly it's too thin. No matter how far I paint it, uh, I spray from, it always spiders out for some reason. If I go too close, especially, it's going to spider out. Not only that, it's not gripping onto my prime, uh, prime coat at all it was just keep spreading and spreading and i gave up using it i ended up using the angelic blood and mix it with white to make my own pink so this is the problem with the lust pink uh i mean if you're buying a whole set you're still you're still getting like a good deal out of it until you know badger probably want to test their their mixture again it might be a bad badge i might have gotten a bad egg you know out of the whole badge i don't know but I'm having problem with the less pink and also with the blood stain mud it's not much of a quality it is a little thinner than I'm, I'm used to from the other paint the smell is exactly how it sounds like it smelled like blood stained mud I mean I know you can't do anything about it and I, why am I reviewing a paint and then judging them by their their smell I don't know if you're wearing masks you're not gonna smell it but if you open it without the, your mask on you're gonna smell every single thing from this color is okay everything else is perfect just smell but these are my review on the miniature paint i love using them uh thank you again badger thank you ken for actually sending them to me once i actually start using them a lot more than i'm doing now i can probably do a better review and especially if i start using other paint i want to you know compare it but so far money wise bad budget wise these are one of the cheapest airbrush paint in in the market right now especially with the coupon code if you want to use coupon code from webairbrushes.com go use consortium and you can get it 40 percent off so there you go this is my review on the Minotaur airbrush paint from badger airbrush and this is mars i'll talk to you again later